So uh, what we got here is uh, when I purchased the 560, <laughs> the uh, voltage regulator is about in the condition you see, which, uh, you know, of course, isn't the best. The rubber straps had uh, broke, but other than that, it works. So uh, rather than buying a new one, I'm just going to replace the uh, rubber straps. So I'll be detailing that here. Of course, uh, you know, uh, for your own reference, I recommend, uh, you know, if you're going to be doing that, uh, of course, label all your wires. Masking tape makes it easy. You don't have to guess. Uh, it only takes a moment. Uh, write, you know, uh, write the terminals while it's still on the roll, then tear it off and wrap it around. Uh, works pretty well. Uh, but anyway, that's what we'll be going over. All right, so here I've removed the voltage regulator. I think what some of the dilemma was, well, an additional dilemma, uh, is that uh, there was diesel leaking on this from the uh, sediment bowl. And as you can see, diesel combined with rubber makes mush. Uh, so other than that, it looks pretty clean. Uh, I'll probably test the uh, uh, coils, make sure that they're firing off, but they should be. And like I said, they, it worked fine. Just on this back side, you can see where basically the rubber probably again from the uh, uh, from the uh, diesel that had leaked on it and hear my little helper here uh, uh, get those drilled out we're gonna drill them out replace the rubber uh, and then re uh, rip it them and then we should be back in business okay so here's where we're at right now got this cleaned up quite a bit uh, this is what I'm going to be using for uh, my new rubber insulators, uh, it's going to be squished flat. I cut it in half and notched a little bit out. The original is a quarter inch by uh, half an inch. Uh, the original uh, pieces here that you can see. Um, we didn't have, uh, I don't have on hand anything that's that dimension. If I can find it later, I'll just remove these, drill the rivets back out. Uh, but anyhow, um, uh, this works once I flatten it out to the dimensions I need. So I'm going to drill through and put pop rivets in. Uh, it should be pretty simple. Uh, you know, so I guess uh, some people might uh, wonder why in the world go through so much trouble. Well, even though these aren't that expensive, I think they're like $50. Uh, one of the dilemmas uh, I've discovered, and my helper's still here, <laughs> I try not to discourage any young ones that are uh, my, my sons if they're interested in helping me work, uh, even if it's uh, just inspecting the tools, but <laughs> anyhow, uh, one of the reasons is made in the USA. The the uh, you notice them on points. The newer ones that you're buying, just they just aren't as good a quality. They wear out fast. Like I said, this is pretty clean. There's no reason to throw it away. Uh, just takes a little bit of time. Uh, uh, and should you know should be basically good as new. Uh, so, um, but anyhow, so that's what I'm doing right now. Just uh, I'm going to be using. Uh, this is a fuel line uh, that I just cut a, cut a niche in, and that, that'll work. So here it is, uh, reassembled <laughs> with the two layers of, uh, of uh, fuel line uh, cut in half. Uh, like I said, it's in pretty good shape. I uh, reused a seal from a bad regulator I had. It was all corroded. It's pretty nasty. Uh, so uh, this is it. Uh, you know, it works out pretty well. It's all, I need to trim those uh, rivets. I'll actually, I'm gonna get uh, the proper sized uh, rubber material and then I'll redo the rivets properly. But it's on there and it works, so uh, uh, that's it. Did find out too when I was cleaning it. This is actually a uh, true international regulator as well. A newer, more recent one, you know, probably 20 years old-ish. But uh, it still has the part number and everything on it, so. Anyhow, uh, that's it. You know, one way to <laughs> to save a uh, regulator uh, when the insulators have gone bad. Uh, well, uh, thanks for watching.